Hello, friends, and welcome to Mrs. Carnes and Me. We're a part-time travel couple who has now been to 41 states and 32 countries, all the while looking for any excuse to enjoy a good bottle of wine. Join us now as we achieve our latest bucket list travel experience, Italy. While in Rome, we tried many different foods and had several different dining experiences. In today's video, we would like to share our thoughts on the many different local delicacies we had while we were in Rome. Our first official dinner in Rome was spent at a local's home by the name of Barbara. We had an authentic Roman cuisine at this meal, and I will say, her home cooking was fabulous. Check out our full video about this experience. It was amazing. The sun shining down. Earlier, we had visited the Pantheon, and while walking there, I had noticed this cute little bakery. We were feeling a bit peckish, so we decided to take a walk and see what the bakery had to offer. Located right next to the Pantheon, this patisseria offers a huge selection of baked goods and several kinds of drinks. Seating is available outside with a view of the Pantheon. I'm not sure that eating sweets gets any better than this. What you got there? I'd say. In late 2019, early 2020, we had plans of coming to Italy with a couple of other couples. Um, one was uh, Dan and Jerry Driscoll. And we joked, Dan and I talked about her, um, getting one of these. Dan was a huge sweet lover. He always wanted dessert. He loved donuts. He loves them like this. And when we saw this, he was like, uh, unfortunately, we did not make it on that trip. And uh, Dan um, found out later that year that he had esophageal cancer and passed away. And so I uh, told myself, I need this like I need a hole in the head. And I'm doing this in honor of Dan. Really good. Highly approved. I highly approve. The cream is very sweet. The pastry is um, kind of a combination. It almost has like a doughy consistency to it, like a donut. And it's basically just cream and dough. And While we were finishing our Meritazzo, it started raining, and since we were so close to the Pantheon and there was no line, we decided to go back in. I really wanted to see what happens when it rains, since the Pantheon has an open hole in the top. You don't see any, I don't see any, oh, there are holes, look. Right there, there are holes. On our second night in Rome, we went to Trattoria Antonio. Opening in 1934, this traditional Italian restaurant still serves many of the dishes from its very first menu. We found ourselves on a sensory journey. The smells, tastes, textures, and sounds all take you on an Italian adventure. I was even able to do an olive oil tasting and have my first taste of grappa. It was a wonderful yes, evening. We don't want to taste the, the best Italian Pinot Noir is this one. So it's from Friuli, Northern Italy. If you can. Pinot Nero i Ferretti is outstanding. Outstanding mm -hmm. one. It's very good. Okay. We've done that time. How many bottles of wine do you think you have? How many bottles of wine? Yeah. Thousand? Thousand and thousand. Yeah, thousand. thousand. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You know, that's the first time I've ever seen that. I've never seen I've that. Never seen that. Yeah. Before. Okay, the name of this operation is Avvinamento and serves to give the right fragrance to glass. 
When you bring the glass to the mouth, the fragrance of wine is the bring. This is a 2018 Luis Santino Nero, and in all of the times that I've ever had someone serve me a bottle of wine, that's the first time I've ever seen them do that with the cap and collect the cork next to it like yeah. that. That's really, really yeah. cool. Very cool. So, you have to learn how to do that, press all your friends. That, that would be really a neat trick, wouldn't it? It would be. Look at this cute little bread. Wow, that's really good. I can't imagine what the other one tastes like. Wow, that is not, I like that one. So, zucchini flowers. Enjoy your dinner. Look how pretty your hands are. Oh, wow. That looks fancy. I can't wait to try these. I've wanted to try them for a long time. Beef tartare is wonderful. I've taken one bite and it has this yolk that you just sort of spread down through it all. Inside of it is a little spice and there's some nuts. There's a little crunch and a little heat inside of it. I'm sure it's probably red pepper flake. But it is magnificent. And what do you think of your zucchini flowers over there? It's really good. Really good. I'm gonna tape you taping me. So I'm having the Amatrishana, which is a tomato sauce with looks like big spaghetti noodles. I'm sure they're al dente with pecorino cheese and pork cheek. And the lovely, isn't she lovely tonight? The lovely and beautiful Mrs. Carnes is having grisha, which is like cassio pepper, but it has pork cheek added to it. So the sauce is a white sauce, but it's black pepper in it. So it should have a nice black pepper taste to it. Are you excited? Let's dig in. So I've never seen this stuff before. You're, you're, you're warming, obviously you're warming the glass and you're warming it up. Oh, this is from Piemonte. Okay. The Perta is the most important label for me. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to bet this one. I haven't had grappa in years, so. Yeah, this is outstanding. It's top three Italian grappa. Grass is melting. Smell like. It like a like a wine smell to it. It has like a grape smell to it. Yeah. Um, grappa is a from grape that you see in the grass. Right. It's distilled from the sea. I can smell, smell it. it. I can smell it over here. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've ever seen this. Yeah. This presentation's different. It's very um, unique. Very unique too. I like it. Check back in a moment after two minutes. Yeah. Oh. See what it tastes like. Okay. You have to let it sit for two minutes. Two minutes. Perfect. Okay. So my two minutes is up with my hot water grappa. Let's see what it's like. So when you, when you hold it, get it in your mouth, the, the actual fumes go into your mouth. And that's a, a faint sweetness to it. But 
it's, but it's, it's sort of like when you drink bourbon. I can smell it. The alcohol is the first the heat that you get. And then there's like levels of flavor. My first tasting that was sort of more sweetness. Um, and then I got a, a, a tiny little bit of like bitterness. Like if you bite into a seed. If you've ever had Rafa and you like it or you don't like it, leave us a comment. Tell us. So the, the the cameras flipped. My Scotch drinking wife. She says it smell. It reminds her of smelling like Scotch. It's very strong. Yeah, it does kind of. Yeah, it's. What are the flavors you're getting? Does it remind you of scotch? Butterscotch. Oh, get a butterscotch. That's the sweet. That's that sweetness uh -huh. that I got. That's the. That's a good description, Mrs. Carnes. I could come up with that. Yeah, it does. Yeah. On the finish, it's got that that, that sort of seedy, uh -huh. yeah. bitter, bitter taste to it. Bitterness on the very back yeah. of your tongue, but the first and at first it's just like, ooh, that's a lot of. It. So you wanted to try grappa? Yeah. It's not bad. I would probably drink it. The rest of it's mine, so you can. It's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> Evil laugh. <Yeah. laughs> We just had dinner at the front door here at the end of the home, and it was wonderful. I thought it was very authentic. This is sort of a tourist friendly street that we're on here. It's really cute. It's about a uh, five minute walk from the studio. And I know that everybody says you should avoid these touristy, close to the land market restaurants and places. Our meal was wonderful. I would I would recommend that to anybody. And it wasn't overpriced. No, it's 123 euros for three courses, a bottle of wine, and a uh, crop. And sparkling water. And sparkling water. And bread. And you know, all of the tasting. I'm yeah. sure you've already seen the video by now. Yeah. But I wouldn't be afraid of places like this if we had a recommendation for them. Yeah. I should. Yeah. So, um, salute. This is the Pantheon with the no one in mind. No one bothering me. No one. Because I'm here at midnight. That's why. That's all it takes. Just come at midnight, folks. You can get whatever picture you want. If you can stay awake and eat long enough. Yeah. <laughs> the Pantheon at night. This cute. Pretty. Thanks for watching. And please consider subscribing to our channel and giving this video a like. We are living the good life. Salute!